Anyway, now that I've kind of gone off that trail. Hello, my friends. We are diving into episode 11 of A Place Further Than the Universe. I'm, the reason for those of you who are like, why do you always say it like that? Because if I don't, I'll say A Place Farther Than the Universe, because that's what I originally had in my head. So I have to like pause and correct myself. Um, it's probably not really necessary, but it's become habit now. <laughs> um, we just finished episode 10. Well, you may have just have. I, however, in between, recorded the footage for episode 10, uh, went food shopping, and basically did some cooking, a little bit eating. So, <laughs> magic of editing. So anyway, episode 11, we're about to dive right in. After this, we only have two episodes left, and then we're done with the series. Because this is one of those one series kind of shows, one season kind of shows, and to be honest, when I was younger, I never really encountered a one season kind of show. I've learned, however, that some of the kids shows I liked were only one season, or and I thought, which I, even though I thought they were like multiple seasons, but that's what, that's besides the point. It was I, I never really encountered too many shows that were purposely one season, but there are a lot of animes that are purposely one season, either because it's a really weird storyline or because it's accomplished what it needs to accomplish. Obviously, as as a manga, it was written as a one off first, and so if there is more to what the story than what the series covers this, this this series covers let me know it doesn't feel like there's more to it kind of like decadence though i think decadence is a completely original anime versus this is based off a of manga so no more seasons on like layback camp which i hope we get many many seasons and a couple movies out of it because i love it and they are having a very successful time marketing it so obviously they will keep writing it and do producing it for as long as is reasonably possible. This series is enjoyable. It, I can see why people, again, I've said this before, compare it to Layback Camp, but it is actually incredibly different. Except for girls and winter and adventures, there's really nothing else in common. The personalities are very different from each, not only within the shows, but from each other. Um, the styles are obviously very different, whereas there's definitely a more anime cartoony look to Layback Camp. There's a more realistic aspect to this one. Uh, in terms of style, also the characters are right off the bat. We kind of not only get their personalities, but their flaws as well. The other characters, yes, there's obviously flaws that exist, but they aren't detrimental. They aren't um, an issue with the plot. They aren't painful. Whereas this should right off the bat with the missing slash definitely dead mother and other things right off the bat. They're like, no, 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 this is going to be, and with the style and the kind of the things we've seen right off the bat, realize, okay, this is not going to be as fun and fluffy as laid back camp. I've got my boba tea, which I'm sure we can create a count of how many times I've drank boba tea in while filming. I've got that. I've got my episode queued up. If you're watching YouTube, there's no sound, partial image. Last episode was super cute, focused on Christmas. This one apparently focused on the new year. And then relationship dynamics. And then we're only two episodes left, and I'm like, are we going to actually get to see them do much? I mean, I'm sure we will get to see them do some, especially like the montage. Um, we did get to see our first penguin last episode. It's in a deli. Oh, and what are the name of the... I forget what those big birds are called. There's some, I've seen, like, the clip of, like, David Tennant narrating... Emperor baby penguins, baby emperor penguins almost being eaten by one of those very, very giant kestrel, giant kestrel. So that was a kestrel, which looks like a seagull, but is actually meat eating monster. <laughs> um, and interesting how kestrels, they kind of look very different depending on where they are in the world. Anyway, giant meat eaters um, and the little, little deli like coming up to save the day. So it's cute that we see a delis. They are super cute. Though apparently penguins also really smell. <laughs> I learned that because I got to do some work for my internship near this, uh, a zoo. And I was like, why does this one section really smell? Well, on the literally other side of the wall inside the zoo were the penguins. 
And I was like, oh, they stink. They smell horrendous. Okay. Cute, but stinky. Which is probably true of most wildlife creatures. Anyway, if you're watching, there's no sound on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, <laughs> there's no sound. A partial image keeps the copyright monsters at bay. However, well, that keeps definitely keeps the copyright monsters at bay for the most part. However, there's a tip version below. You can click on it. It's free. Um, but if for some reason you can't get access to it in your country, you can follow along as a countdown timer. I do pause the halfway point if I really feel like I need to. Sometimes I'll warn you, sometimes I won't. Good luck. Let's dive in. Why are they being dramatic? What is this? You're right, she didn't listen, didn't keep her mask up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no, they're laughing at her. Oh, oh, so that's they're going over a New Year's message thing. That's a story. I'm just doing this so I can like make sure that my episode footage matches up, which is gonna I'm gonna do for every episode now. Okay, um, that's a story. So, let's see. Hanada chose to leave school. We saw her recognize some girls in a different uniform, so when she did go to school, she was at a different school. And out of all of them, she's small, compact, looks really hecka strong, and is, can easily do a split. So, and has really great endurance. So, she was probably part of, I bet she, at, at her school, she was part of a gymnastics team. For whatever reason, things didn't go very well, and, uh, this is a really cute song, um, things didn't go very well, and she left. And I guess those girls, now either they just felt obligated, like, oh my gosh, it's her, let's go see if we can talk to her while we can, or, um, they really did care about her, and she and her, as we've seen, Hanada can be kind of stupid, even though she's pretty smart. So, uh, it could be either she was pretty stupid and misinterpreted things, or, well, we'll get more, we'll get our answers, but still. Theorize. Bashi the drum can. Hmm. Oh, that? Oh, it's funny. Interesting how they have to use the black and the red stuff in order to help the plane land. Ooh, which is probably rough. I wonder if it's on a similar... Like, if you land on, like, landing on water with similar landing on snow, or if it's very, very different. That must be a really highly trained... Hmm. Highly trained... Oh, cool! Hmm. No. It takes a long time. And you've got to get all this, once you have the building made, you've got to get a lot of stuff to go in the observatory. There's a crazy expense and there's so much to play there. Oh. Hmm. I got distracted. 
<laughs> oh, but last episode ended with them having to do a New Year's broadcast. <laughs> She loves to run when she doesn't want to face things. No, oh, it's not electricity. I kind of love that even though Kimari and Shiraz really kicked off the friendship thing, and they kind of added everybody, I like how Hinata and Shiraz like connect in their own little ways. Little cretin, cretin. Poor little thing. And then I love how Kimri and Yuzuki connect in their own little way. They are interesting like that. She's probably never seen him not a man like that. I wonder if she keeps all that little bottle inside of her little heart. Shiraz hit so she could. That's a lot. I'm sure she's never seen it. I mean, no, they... Oh, that's really cool! Again, she doesn't want to deal with it. She doesn't want to, like talk about her emotions or anything like that so it's, it's kind of interesting to see so the boat does stay there for a long time it's interesting to see um again she's still not wearing a mask the goober uh it's interesting to see um you know Hanada be so weirdly like emotional like that it's, probably, it's definitely weird for Shiraz too Oh, that's cool. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So it's, is it a term then? Oh no, it is a section in there. Oh, that was a woman who was like crying on the phone last time. Oh gosh. Depressing little creature. I wonder how long she'll be in uh, the Antarctic. Ooh. It's crazy. Why would. If I'm saying that, I can be a real jerk. But it's, it's probably also weird for Shiraz to go back and forth. See her go back and forth like that? Um, oh, the clouds move so they can actually see the sun because it never sets. Um, it is super cool. Yeah. Wow, it is really beautiful. That'd be cool. But it must <laughs> It's true. Hmm. Oh, because they're during the summer where there's mostly sunlight versus the winter when it's like no sunlight. It must be the way for her to finish my freaking thing is for her to be so angry and emotional there and then go inside to not as like fun and like normal. Hmm. Hmm. Storm's coming? Oh, this would be a face. <laughs> no. You gotta let your face naturally scrub away, else I'll just wash your face, you'll go away in time. Yeah, because you were ruining her hand in her game. That was that was nice seeing like Shiraz hang out with like the older woman, especially Todigan. Todigen. 
I'm gonna play Mahjong. At first, I was like, what? <laughs> A daughter of Jin and Takako? Okay. So there's a main base email computer. <laughs> Definitely hasn't been sleeping, the poor thing. Oh, track, she was part of track. Oh, then she might, maybe she did steeple jump? I'm not sure. That's not your email, puppy. None of your business. Yeah, she clicked it anyway. Oh, so they were girls her age, and then the older girls bullied her and were jerks. Pause real quick. <laughs> Got some confirmation on some stuff, but it seems that Hinata was bullied by the older girls, upperclassmen, which I think is, I remember hearing something like that, similar to something that happens in Hibiki Euphonium. And basically her, her peers didn't stick up with her because of that bullying, because how they treated her, probably because on track team, she's kind of short. Like, she just left, and they were like, they didn't quite know what happened to her, because she didn't just quit the team, she quit school. Because, like, obviously the bullying and all that got so bad, and clearly, Hannah does not have a very supportive home life. And so, she wasn't able to stand it, and decide, you know what, screw this, I'm leaving. Um, and her teammates, her, her peers, her classmates, saw that, and was like, huh, okay. I get it now. They were like, oh. There she is, and they were so worried about her. And they also feel guilty because they didn't stand up for her, and they probably feel like that was part of, they were kind of to blame for that. So, and it, I mean, it'd be interesting to see kind of the specifics and get kind of real confirmation of that. I'm just starting to hurt. But it is kind of nice to kind of like, oh, okay, I'm getting a little bit, I really thought she was gymnastics, because again, she can do splits and she's so small and compact. So the track part was kind of um, surprising. But I'm sure once we get the explanation, maybe she'll mention what she was. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep going. So when you use that, you I'm so stressed out. No, they didn't. They told, they encouraged her to be competitive and to go against them. So she just left. Um. Oh. Do they lose because? So she quit the team, then they were still jerks, so then she just quit school. She really isn't.
Hmm. Maybe, like, I guess it also shows how much Shiraz and Nada have in common. Oh, wow, it is. That's cool. It is really cool. It's like a beautiful reddish color. Hmm. <laughs> oh wow i didn't see that part that's crazy beautiful dang that is, that is super cool because the way the water and the ice flows oh look at that that's nice that's really nice Cool. <laughs> Shiraz has a harder time letting things go, though. Shiraz. Am I saying her name wrong? Did I just hear her say Shirase? And I just, I mean, mm. they're both stupidly stubborn in a lot of ways. And it's so similar to her experience that, you know, it kind of is. It is because it's so cold. Like there's nothing that, and there's also, yeah, mm -mm, no bacteria. <laughs> don't I was like, don't stick your whole face in there. That probably does taste very nicely. <laughs> Come with your hands. No, well, I guess you don't want their hands interfering with it. No, I was saying it right, Shirasa. Nice, it's so cute. <laughs> it's interesting how similar she is to her mom, even though so approximately, well, not half her life, but quite a bit of her life. She didn't really have her. What are they doing? Oh, okay. She is kind of good at the strangest things. She has these like random interesting talents. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I love that other woman, she's so funny. Mm. She has a hard time letting things go, though. Mm. Now that's some extreme winter camping there. <laughs> Instant ramen apparently hits the spot every time. Ooh, the egg! Mm-hmm. No, let them, let them talk. It's always interesting to see, like, what the girls, like, can pick up on and what sometimes they're completely oblivious to, especially about each other. Like, how easy Kimmery can read Yuzuki and, th and vice versa, and then those two. Well, Yuzuki still struggles. Don't let that float away. That's true. Girl holds grudges. Yeah, though she lost her mom. It's very painful. Wait. 
this is dynamic. Oh, stop it. Their dynamic is very interesting. It's sweet, but also like... <laughs> They're also the most dramatic pain in the butts of the four of them. <laughs> She's so manic sometimes. <laughs> He's out cold. <laughs> they did apologize, but it is up to her now. <laughs> they both are at times. They are very similar. Trouser now it's like a time pumpkin. <gasps> this is a live who knows where this is broadcasting. It's interesting how we can be so intimidated in real life and then fierce for our friends. Very unconventional. <laughs> Thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> I was like, oh gosh. Kimberly and them talked about it too. I saw gifts of this. I didn't realize that it was a live thing. I thought they were just like. Oh, it's so dramatic. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> she's probably saying how much she's like her mom. <laughs> Guess the dramatic start. <laughs> Maybe cut out the part where they're like. That's cute, they get their own little bell, attached to ring this bell. Oh, their, uh, their bell's a drum can. Oh, that's cute. So that was interesting. <laughs> interesting. I did have a very bad, good note. I talked about, like, I hope they broadcast it. They did last year. Um, she did say it before we start, so maybe that gives the editing team a chance to, like, cut out that part. <laughs> and just play, like, the official one. <laughs> Ooh, I'm still- I forgot that's still running. Um... <laughs> Everybody's making each other cry, this is ridiculous. Um... This is cute. Uh... Mm. There's only two episodes left. Well, last episode was about Yuzuki a little bit. This one was about Hinata and then kind of their friendship. So I wonder if that will reverse a little bit in these next two episodes. Or we'll really, really focus on them as a group. There's only two episodes left. Two episodes left. What the frick? 
but the series is hecka cute. It's really enjoyable. I'm having a good time with it. I don't really feel the need to do a review, because I think I've said all that I need to say. Shrasset and not a very interesting dynamic, and they are so fierce and protective of each other, probably because they're so similar. And it's just kind of interesting to see like their reactions and how they deal with certain stuff. But um, yeah, this episode was super cute. Got some things confirmed in a kind of interesting way. Oh, this has to do with that book. Ooh. Next up is going to be heavy, isn't it? Dang, okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. Liking directly is very nice. Um, however, commenting and, and uh, subscribing and sharing like really, really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Me being consistent with posting does as well. But um, you guys also play a role in that, don't forget that. That when you comment, when you share, it, and you subscribe, it really kind of helps the YouTube algorithm. So please comment and subscribe, that is super helpful. Liking it also is really helpful too, but apparently it doesn't really affect, now that YouTube keeps shifting things, it doesn't really affect the effect as much, but the commenting, the interaction like that, uh, really, really does. But um, again, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your enemies, and I'll see you next time.